One of Sri Lanka's most open secrets is violence against women, with the prevalence of intimate partner violence being as high sometimes as 70%. As a result, related areas like child protection is also overlooked. And when it comes to the very places meant to offer shelter to children, like orphanages, they become sites of abuse and exploitation as well. While yes, there's a need for law reform, what is also needed is legal literacy which remains very poor, resulting in violations of human rights which often go unnoticed. Survivors of abuse also don't come forward because, let's face it, where do they go? And more often than not, the victim is financially dependent on the abuser. In 2018, attorney at law and human rights activist Marini Delivera decided to change the status quo. A former chairperson of the National Child Protection Authority, she decided to launch Sisters at Law to fight against child abuse and women abuse and champion women's rights in Sri Lanka. For this, she won the prestigious International Woman of Courage Award in 2019. And so, on Kaleidoscope today, she discusses the dire need for access to justice for women and children. Marini, what is the ground reality like when it comes to access to justice for women and girls? First of all, they are unaware of the laws in the country. Uh, they say ignorance of the law is no excuse, but there's very little legal literacy. And do you think it's a cultural thing? It is cultural because Sri Lanka is a country that is steeped in patriarchal ideologies. So it is very cultural. Although in 1995 uh, at the Beijing conference uh, they articulated that women's rights are human rights, uh, it, it, it's only empty rhetoric. Uh, uh, nothing has happened to make it a reality in Sri Lanka. So are there spikes in the types of violence and the frequencies of violence maybe during months or during seasons or something like that? Yeah, especially during the pandemic, uh, we had to work, all of us had to work because around the clock we were getting calls and there were people walking in and uh, asking for help and saying that they can't uh, stay another night, that they'll get killed. So uh, even during curfew, I had to go with my uh, lawyer's pass to Polonnaru and uh, rescue a woman and her newly born baby and her young child. During the holiday season, so where, where the men get drunk and also when the children are at home. How do sisters at law create that awareness that is necessary for women and girls, especially those in the rural areas, to uh, get this access to justice. We had our own street theatre group and I had a huge blue bird uh, 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 character dressed up as a blue bird called Bindu Bird who went into the villagers and who had like forum theatre and uh, discussed the situation and the remedy and the laws available. But due to the pandemic situation now we are unable to go from village to village. Uh, but we are in the process of preparing booklets on the themes that we covered. So on drug abuse, on uh, not sending children to orphanages because they are little hell holes. The institutionalization is a huge problem in Sri Lanka. There are 20,000 children locked up and they are just released at 18 years uh, to fend for themselves. So they are growing up without any love and care and they come out as horrible human beings. So uh, that kind of situation. Then uh, family violence. Uh, then other forms of rights where women are discriminated, they are not given promotions, uh, they are asked for sexual bribes, that kind of thing. So all these were depicted through the medium of drama, but not anymore. So now uh, I am fond of drawing and painting as well, <laughs> in the same way that I am fond of drama. So now I am doing my own illustrated booklets uh, with the Bindu bird as a character. A registered national charity for women and human rights in Sri Lanka Sisters at Law is desperately seeking funding for the safe houses and shelters run by the organization. Thank you, Marini, for joining us today on Selling Co Life. Let's talk. With Selinko Life Pension Saver, Sri Lanka's premier retirement plan, start planning for your retirement today. Selinko Life, a relationship for life.